go. What's mobbing, man? We on that hump day. We halfway through it. Let's go. Um, I hope y'all had a, a good week so far. Um, you know, that you've been challenged um, in, in your faith, man. I think that's a good thing uh, that that we we are looking within and, and questioning things, man. You know, I was blessed yesterday to have a friend um, call a meeting and, and, and ask for some prayer and, and confess some things and kind of rededicate himself to, to his walk, um, knowing that he's been failing and falling short in certain areas. Um, and it was a really cool thing to see, man. And, and I've been in issues um, and know what it's like to um, kind of tell yourself a lie and, and, and put what you need to do on that back burner. And uh, it was good to see him, you know, throw it on a throw it out there and be transparent. And so um, hopefully, you know, that little story will compel you if you there's something that you've been, you know, holding back or, or you've been sliding off and you, you know, making excuses on why you're not ready to to rededicate right now, um, that maybe that'll motivate you, man. Just, just do it, man. Come home, you know what I mean? And so it was a beautiful thing to see. Uh, let's get into the, today's devotion. It's October 6th. Uh, Mark 836. What good is for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? Now, I know this is a quote we all know, but sometimes it's good to go back and remind ourselves of the significance of it. Um, I saw this quote one time and it said, what consumerism really is at its worst is getting people to buy things that don't actually improve their lives. Now, don't get me wrong. I've been a victim of consumerism. I done bought stuff I didn't need, um, trying to maintain this worldly status and be in with the in crowd or look fly. Knowing I have bills, but I buy this pair of shoes or knowing I need something more important, uh, a, a deeper necessity. And I, I'll, I'll buy some fashion or, or do something. But, you know, that's why the Bible tells us in Matthew um, 19, 24, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. So we got to ask, why would the Bible say that? You know, we often think that the the rich are blessed, um, that like this ultra favor comes from, from God and all these possessions um, and riches are be bestowed upon somebody um, because the love of, love of God has been poured on them. Uh, and sometimes that can be the case. Um, but I certainly don't believe that that is the standard. You feel me? Um, on the contrary, the blessings, blessings of wealth, um, riches, and status often become a person's God. And it's, it ultimately shifts um, if it's not held in the right perspective. And that's what they chase. Um, you know, that's what um, drives them. That's their impetus. That's what motivates them to uh, continue on, you know, down that wider road. You know what I'm saying? Um, and in the end, like today's verse um, says, basically they are left with their eyes to feast on, upon materials. And, and what then does the soul eat would be the question. Um, wealth comes with expenses, with uh, expectations and the concern eventually becomes how you, the upkeep of that. How do I main, you know, maintain this lifestyle? How do I keep, you know, my wealth at this point? And in the end of the day, true riches to me and, and hopefully to the believer is, um, you know, that relationship with God, these priceless moments that we can't get back. These, these moments when we have these God encounters with, amongst ourselves or with other people. But I think that's where the true richness resides. And that's um, really where the soul is. Um, and since we're kind of speaking in currency, that where the soul is, you know, multiplied and where it's magnified, where the stock in your soul goes up, so to speak. And I think that's what we should be chasing, you know, and, and if we're blessed enough to have riches and, and money or cloud or whatever it is that that because our soul is in the right place, then also that money or that status will be used in the right way. Praise God. But let's just remember that, man. Don't chase the world. Don't lose your soul, man. God bless y'all. Y'all get it. And remember, 
If you've fallen short, jump back on, fall forward, rededicate yourself, and let's do this. Bye.